Chris here from anabolicmen.com. We give you 100% research-backed uh, men's health advice. And today, I think I'm kind of sweaty. Uh, I am out on a walk right now, actually. Just taking a break at the office, going on a walk in the neighborhood. Happens to be about 100 degrees, and I'm wearing a button-down shirt and pants. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I just want to answer the, this question. I'm answering some questions on this walk. Uh, doing some videos that are very commonly asked questions and uh, today this this one is going to be uh, with regards to body fat percentage and it's a, it's a really good question what is the ideal male body fat percentage for hormonal health and body fat percentage is an interesting topic because so many people are so obsessed with getting shredded and being you know exceedingly lean for vanity reasons basically but what happens for for the most part when people get very very lean unless they do it over a very long period of time very very slowly if they do it at with any kind of speed which is what most of the fitness industry is touting you know they're like get ripped in eight weeks kind of thing if you do it with any kind of speed typically you're going to have a drop in testosterone or you you'll have some sort of uh, you experience some sort of hormonal imbalance uh, due to that and then typically lose libido or, or things just stop working as well basically so it's a good question because i'm sure you know people that are asking this question or thinking about it are trying to set goals for themselves which is great so what i would recommend is shooting for the basically the 10 to 14 percent body fat range with a fair amount of muscle mass as a man once you get there you can maintain it without a, a ton of effort which is great so you can have a good low cortisol lifestyle, basically, where, where you're not stressed out about food, you're not having to forego social events, you, you don't have to stop drinking, you can have you know a couple drinks every week and be just fine. Basically live a balanced life, which balance is the name of the game. Shooting for, for 10 to 14% is great too, because if you're, if you're training, if you're lifting, if you're focusing on getting stronger in the gym every week, uh, at that body fat range, you're gonna look great you know, you're not going to look like a fitness cover model, but most guys don't want to look like that. I think it's rare to even say that, but I think there are a lot of people out there probably watching this video right now, and myself included, I don't care about looking like a fitness cover model. I've been very low body fat percentage before, and I really didn't like it. And that might be a weird thing to say because everyone is so obsessed with being shredded, but I think there's this silent majority of people who and guys especially who just want to feel good they want to feel masculine they want to feel strong and big have big shoulders you know big traps that kind of thing they're not obsessed with being sub 10 percent body fat what i suggest is basically shooting for 10 to 14 percent because in that range you're at a healthy body fat percentage uh, you can maintain it with very little effort but your body is also going to feel great. You're going to feel balanced. You're going to sleep well. Uh, you're not going to have cravings because you're not really restricting anything. Uh, and it's a good, uh, healthy place to stay. Studies looking at bodybuilders, uh, scientists typically will see uh, massive drops in androgen levels when the bodybuilders were going under 10% body fat. So, or typically like maybe nine, sub 9% body fat. So when they get into the single digit range, reliably their their t levels are going to drop on a curve and then the lower they go in body fat the lower their testosterone levels go so you know you get you get super ripped and you might be happy you got to that goal but for the most part a lot of guys who are actually that that shredded are on some kind of gear uh or you know hormone replacement therapy or whatever to just to fulfill the basic functions of their body. And what that tells me is that that's just not healthy. Uh, so, you know, maybe maybe you have a bodybuilding show or something you wanna, you wanna do, you wanna go through a phase in your life where you get super shredded. Uh, but I, I'd say like after that, just fulfill your goals in that sense. After that, if you wanna achieve the best hormonal health, so you feel great, so you, you maintain a good virility and uh, vitality in your life as a man, and and you, you maintain you know good balance in your life, strong sex drive, I would stay above 10% body fat. Venture down into the single digit range maybe every once in a while, but you don't need to stay down that low. You're not, you're not gonna feel great unless you get there over a very long period of time. Um, and yeah, your body is just gonna feel better in the 10 to 14%. If you have a fair amount of muscle mass, you're gonna 
still look great and you'll be able to fill out your clothes. Uh, you'll still look lean. I mean, there's plenty of guys who even have six packs in that, that percent body fat range. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would shoot for. Hopefully that answers your question. If you, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.